Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Leo. Take it however it resonates. Wow, the Empress is at the bottom of the deck. Wow, underneath that is the Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands is here. And then the Sun. Wow. Four of Pentacles and the Lovers. Will of Fortune. Nine of Cups. Seven of Swords. Okay, so let's just get right into this energy here. I just feel like I want to just talk about this. Um, the Empress, the Ace of Wands. The Two of Wands. All right. You have the Sun here. You have the Four of Pentacles. You have the Will of Fortune, Lovers, Nine of Cups. So first of all, there's something very beautiful here. Um, Jupiter being in Taurus, you know, the Empress card, people say that obviously this like Libra Taurus energy. Um, a lot of things happen, of course, during Taurus season. And then now with Jupiter being here, Jupiter is bringing in a lot of great blessings and abundance, like I said, expansion. When it comes to, especially like money and things like that, also the expansion of family, the Empress and the Sun is here. So some of you could um, be expecting or you are preparing yourself to, um, you know, conceive a child, especially with the Ace of Wands here. I feel like someone is definitely, this is not everyone, so someone is absolutely making a decision now to prepare themselves perhaps for a business or even a, a baby. Um, the Two of Wands and the Ace of Wands is someone is choosing to um, embark upon a new journey of, of, of creating or curating some type of space, you know, for, it's like somebody who wants to nurture, you, you want to nurture something. So maybe you want to work with kids or work with other women or whatever it is, working with family, but the Empress, this is the home and, and here is the sun. Um... With all of this growth and expansion, there's going to be a need, of course, to let go. The Four of Pentacles is here. In order for you to have what it is that you want to manifest, there's a great deal of things that you are also going to have to release. The Will of Fortune and the Lovers is here with the Nine of Cups. There is a new like soul contract, perhaps even a soul bay contract. This is just so, so beautiful to me because the Seven of Swords is here. So this could absolutely be someone trying to work against you. But I feel like right now, too, you may want to sort of keep your plans to yourself. There's also someone here working very hard to strategize on the way to perhaps offer you some type of loving, very beautiful commitment here. What's in the background of all of this, though, is illusion, confusion, um, chaos, competition, jealousy, envy, and you know, like I said, I took time away because I was noticing in, you know, I, I'm for sure a channeler. So when things are going on in the collective, I picked them up. In April, there was a lot of different rituals and, and, and various things that were happening. And it was very, very, very low vibrational. And to read it was becoming very draining. But I see that a lot of people obviously are shifting out of that energy. And what is coming now is... Um, these great rewards, this great recognition. Um, some of you have been in perhaps soulmate, twin flame connections, you know, knowingly or unknowingly, and you've been attacked for this. A lot of people are being attacked simply because they know exactly who they are. The Empress is a very first card out. The Empress is someone who um, is very much aware of their own self-worth, their value. You know how to not only recognize value, but also how to create it. There's a lot here also about just intrinsic value. These are things that, you know, the average person they may not be able to necessarily um, touch it, but you can feel it. You know, this is you stepping into this energy where you're very powerful, very passionate about being the empress. And it doesn't matter if you're male or female. But the Two of Wands is here. With the Two of Wands and the Lovers being here, for some of you, you definitely have new love coming towards you. If it's not someone new, as in someone you've never met, it could be things going to the next level um, in a relationship. And your answer to something here, it is for sure, yes. It's wish fulfillment here. The Sun and the Nine of Cups. This is like happily ever after. It's wish fulfillment. Some of you, like I said, there's something happening with a child, a rebirth, or you just coming into a time of being very enlightened that's going to make you extremely happy and overjoyed um the seven of swords here there's a, a, a plot a, a strategy and 
it's not always negative. When you see the Seven of Swords, it's not always negative. Somebody here is working very hard, I feel, in the background, and they're not talking much about the fact that they want to make an offer, okay? Some of you definitely have a, a very beautiful offer that's coming in, okay? Um, it's, it's, it's a gift from the divine to you for everything that you've had to go through. The Four of Pentacles, though, again, is something here that you need to keep to yourself, um, prioritizing yourself. The Empress, this is you sort of being in a selfish phase, not in a bad way, but selfish as in you understanding that you need to hold back. Um, you don't want to overwork yourself, but you also don't want to work in vain. You don't want to be around people either who are holding back while you are doing the majority of the heavy lifting. That's very important for some of you guys. Again, there is this energy here of the Empress, like the mother. It's like you're starting to work more with Mother Earth, with Gaia, and understanding that means that you know when to plant your seeds and you know when not to. Um, the Ace of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Hierophant card here, there's a lot happening also too, but just with your own spirituality, perhaps your psychic gifts, spiritual gifts, that growth and development is at an all-time high right now, but th these cards, this is the first time I've picked up these cards in several weeks, and I'm very, very happy to, to see this type of energy because here I do see the seven of cups and the, the five of wands, but it's followed by the six of swords, the five of cups here. So there is a bit of pessimism here that you have to move away from. This is the conditioning that can so easily set you back if you're not careful. This is looking at the glass half empty instead of seeing it as half full. Um, th this is the five of wands. Also, being very mindful of the people or the various situations in your environment, whether it's your personal life, friend groups, um, your work life or whatever, it can be very easy for you to become confused about the fact that you're actually moving on to peaceful, calm waters if, in fact, you are surrounded by people who are... Um, dealing with a lot of chaos and conflict and perhaps projecting it onto yourself. Now, I want to say this for even for myself, um, something that has been helping me as I've taken time out to reflect is really seeing people as tools in our ascension and them being a mirror. When you are in any season in your life and you start to recognize that, oh my gosh, all these people, they're making me so mad. Where's all this jealousy and this envy coming from or whatever the case may be, in your personal life and situation, it's always so good for you to take some time out to recognize why is that thing triggering you? Why is that situation hurting you? Especially why is it still hurting or triggering you? How much power are you giving to that person, place, thing, or situation? Um, and oftentimes, we can so easily pinpoint where another person is projecting but we don't take the time out to understand why that projection is affecting us so much. With all of this growth, growth and manifestation of abundance here, there will be yeah, jealousy and envy around you. There will be chaos, conflict. There will be competition. But the Seven of Cups speaks of illusions. The Five of Cups is not recognizing that there is indeed a magical opportunity, not seeing that you have to be hopeful, faithful, and still very optimistic in the situation in order for you to move on to peaceful, calmer waters here. There is a very beautiful offer coming in here. The Knight of Cups is here with the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, yes, your God-ordained spouse, your kingdom spouse, the person that you can spend the rest of your life with, that person is returning or they're coming into your life or you're taking things to the next step with this person um, or you're, you're being presented with an opportunity that's for sure going to bring you a lot of abundance. For some of you, when it comes to this like soulmate contract or connection that you have with someone, both of you are being granted something very beautiful because you've both been sort of like I always say crossing the burning sands to get to this place where there is um, a state of, of being at peace, this calmness that's here. And so maybe, you know, for you, it's a financial breakthrough. For some of you, it's it's a breakthrough in your healing journey. Um, the four of pentacles here in the empress, you know, in the sun here. Also, this, this has a lot to do with um, parent-child dynamics as well. Seeing that you have to be passionate now about manifesting a certain life for yourself and, and moving past whatever childhood wounds. The sun cards me is addressing those childhood wounds, the inner child um, 
wounds that you may have and reparenting yourself. There's something here that you have to release in order for this will to move and, and work for you so that you can go into a contract perhaps with another person because the empress is there alone but the lovers is here for some of you it, and, and obviously with the ace of wands and the two of wands it's time for for in some cases for two to become one yeah you may be balancing your feminine and masculine energy within yourself but it's in preparation for you to build something perhaps with another person and it doesn't have to be a romantic partner sometimes in order for you to attract the right business relationship or whatever the case is there's that additional work that is needed for you to do on self um but this is just very beautiful and you can apply to work life career finances, love, but it looks like for a lot of people in the collective, you have it all coming in. There is a very, very heavy emphasis here, though, on love coming towards you, and it's a love that brings about longevity. The Ten of Pentacles, to me, is not always just about money. Um, when you are truly at peace and you're happy, the money is going to come. When you're in your life purpose, the money is going to come, but it's like the way that a person is going to love you or the way that you are loving yourself and carrying this type of energy, you're embodying the energy of very high value, okay? And therefore, yes, you will have peace. You will have a lot of different um, offers and options and, and opportunities that will present themselves to you. The Hermit card is here. So the Queen of Swords with the Hermit card, you may have found yourself or you will find yourself very soon. Perhaps really want to put your guard up. There are some things that you want to say. Be very tactful in how you say these things. Be mindful in how you react and respond. But everything that is happening around you is to bring something out of you. It's like spirit is calling on you right now to really go inward to figure out, like I said, why are you being triggered by that? You know, to figure out why do you want certain things or why are you afraid of certain things to recognize the different patterns of behavior? Um, before I took my short hiatus, it, every day it was stuff coming out about the black magic and all of that. And those things are present. But you always have... You have the choice at any point to decide that you're going to block some of those things out and no longer focus on it. That's honestly what I've done. If you are a divine feminine, divine masculine, you're chosen, you're the bloodline curse breaker or, or, or whatever, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of darkness in the world, but you don't have to choose to focus on it. Um, you can choose to hold your your good energy in for yourself and for those who actually deserve it because this is a very, very high value like the energy of, of, of someone who is truly divine, of, of a royal-like bloodline, there's nothing but good stuff here. But yeah, of course, where there's good, there's going to be something bad and or evil. Queen of Cups, yeah. Going within, also recognizing the patterns of how you deal with your emotions. How do you nurture yourself? How do you nurture other people? Understanding where those thought processes and, and various things where it actually comes from is very key. The Queen of Pentacles is here and the Emperor. Okay. And the King of Cups. I just saw the Queen of Cups. So the Six of Wands is here. And then the Star. Somebody has for sure made a decision, like I said before. Um, the Three of Wands is here and the Ace of Cups with the World card. Someone is going through a major spiritual awakening and ascension. The Ten of Swords here could be going through like a dark night of the soul. Someone may have to start completely over, but you do have the Queen and the King of Cups out here. There is going to be an elevation in consciousness and awareness between two people who are going to come together. That's the reason why the Lover's card is out here. The Six of Wands and the Star is saying that something, the success of a situation, it is inevitable. It's guaranteed. It's destined to happen this way. Um, there's a lot of healing for both a king of cups and a queen of cups. It does not matter what your sign is, but this is a feminine and a masculine in the collective who are both healing a lot when it comes to um, energetically and emotionally and therefore, of course, spiritually. The world card is here. Some of you could find yourselves um, 
dealing with a person who lives at a distance from you. You can meet someone while you're traveling. You can meet someone online, whether it's online dating. If you have any type of platform, some of you, you may be connected with a person where both of you are going through something very similar, okay? Or you've had a very similar just journey. But the Queen of Pentacles is here and the Emperor. Um, it's something about this Queen of Pentacles and this Emperor. This is an energy that's on the outside, I feel, looking into this connection. I don't necessarily want to say that it's negative, but what I will say is with the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles here, what I am part and getting very much intuitively is that when it comes to certain connections here, it's like a person, two people are coming together and the two of you have had forces that have been working against you. These seem to be um, friends, family members, even entities and principalities. There is a masculine energy here and then there is a queen of pentacles. This is some type of matriarch here of some sort here that has been causing some type of um, illusion or a blockage or some type of confusion. As I said before here, that is being projected onto you that you are needing to free yourself from. If this isn't you, this is someone that you're dealing with or a person that you may connect with in the future. That's what's happening here, okay? This queen of pentacles for some of you and this emperor, this could actually be a woman who is in a very masculine energy. Uh, I'm getting very self-righteous, possibly even very religious. Someone here who is very... um very much driven by power and control. The pentacle being here, someone feels like their pentacles, how much money they make, their title or whatever, that puts them in some type of place of control where they may want to dictate your life. This could be, like I said, anyone. And you're needing to be very mindful of that. You're needed to break away from this illusion here because this is a lot of chaos and conflict. This could be coming from the type of person with the Five of Cups here who has been very disappointed by life, by love, um, romance, and things like that. And therefore, their biggest, you know, focus in life perhaps is keeping things ordered in order and structured and you know it has to be disciplined it has to be money or whatever the case is well that type of energy is not in alignment with this king and queen of cups there's two people here who actually want true divine love they want romance they want passion they're emotionally um intelligent and controlled but also free spirited this person here is is barely wrapped in and in, in closed because this is their free spirit and energy here. It is for you and someone else, perhaps who are connecting in whatever way for you to have victory and success and to receive rewards and recognition. But I do feel here's the Ten of Swords. You have an energy here that you need to be mindful of. There's an energy here that is um gatekeeping and this is the conditioning that I'm speaking about, the type of conditioning where a person is telling you you shouldn't do this or you can't do certain things and speaking things over your life. And it has conditioned you where you've been in a state of waiting for a very long time for true love. OK, because perhaps who you are, you are being taught that that is not worthy of the type of love that you know for a sure fact God has shown you and that you're trying to manifest. There is indeed an offer that's coming in. It's going to be the career opportunity as well as the romantic offer that you always want to hear. It's coming in. It's destined to come in. But you have to be careful not to allow yourself to move too slowly out of being paralyzed by fear and having this paranoia due to whatever this, this heavy hitter is here. This is some type of entity or principality that is working through perhaps a friend, family member, or a past lover of yours. Okay? And it's putting you in this energy constantly of feeling defeated. You're feeling like you're constantly being... Um, met with some type of trauma or tragedy and it is because of this like principality this this self-righteous belief system that someone around you is carrying it's causing offers to come in very slowly or it's causing you to move very slowly when it comes to you pursuing things in life because of being very much wounded this is like someone here who could possibly be quite narcissistic who is causing um a lot of like imposter syndrome 
within your life. Like you, you know that you're great, but you won't take that leap of faith to become that person. The Empress is out here with the Ace of Wands saying, yeah, you need to be passionate about who you are. You need to take great passion and, and have power and authority in your life to manifest exactly what you want because the energy is here. The divine is gifting you with the energy that you need to manifest everything that your heart truly desires. There's something here from the past, though. It's causing a great burden. And I feel strongly, yeah, it's a stronghold here. It's a stronghold of something or someone that is gatekeeping. And we're not battling against flesh. These are sometimes when you have friends, family member, or, or lovers who are, well, you could say like demonized people there are different entities that work through them. You have people in your family even who, because of their belief system, they don't allow you to really move into your own greatness. That's very, very difficult to deal with, but you have two tens out here, both the ten of swords and the ten of wands. So this feeling of, of, of being defeated, being betrayed, overwhelmed and unable to push through, being very much wounded, that's coming, that's coming to an end. And you know, even me, I can resonate with this being like that bloodline curse breaker. You become exhausted. You know, you 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 become exhausted and burnt out because here you are. You're constantly trying to find the strength to push forward and to help and to heal and to bring structure, to bring value even to your own family, your bloodline, and to heal them. And oftentimes, it, it, it's 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 hard. In in some cases, it's it's not like it's impossible because you're doing the work, but when you're doing the work, it doesn't always look like you're doing it based on the type of reactions and the responses that you get from the people that you're working so hard for. So at this time, Spirit is saying, be emotionally intelligent and wise when it comes to you making decisions. Look over your past. You know, Mercury retrograde, we're in a post-shadow phase, I guess, of Mercury retrograde now. But be mindful of these types of energies that come into your life very slowly, very strategically with this very methodical approach to somehow perhaps um, create these strongholds for you. There is something here. And again, looking at this car, th there's a feminine energy here that is a gatekeeper. There's a feminine energy here that is slowly coming into your life each time you come into some type of level of enlightenment or awareness about your life or even your past life, who you are, your soul contract here, and it, it can easily slow you down, okay? So be very mindful of that. Yeah, the magician card here and the king of wands, it's like you're manifesting a time in your life where you can be an, a leader, where you can be um, a motivator, you're inspired. If this king of wands is a you, this could be a masculine energy that you're manifesting. But again, there's this gatekeeping energy here. Now, this could be any person. This could be someone in your life or in the life of someone that you're connected to or about to connect with. But there's absolutely... This energy here of this very, very stern, masculine, I'm getting more of like a masculine woman here. And this person is constantly trying to tame the beast that is within someone. Okay, this could be you, like I said, or someone else. It doesn't really matter um, the gender, but there's someone here who wants to tame the beast um, within a person that they actually need to be their best self. The king of wands to, to actually take action. Yeah, and here you have it, the Queen of Swords. Someone here, Magician card, is, while it, it, it's like somebody here has a lot to say about a person taking action, taking the leap of faith and going towards his Four of Wands. I don't know what it is, but I feel like God is doing something big right now where he's removing a lot of this interference here. Um, there, These are low vibrational energies and entities, principalities that you're working against. The, these energies are heartbroken that they can no longer feed off of you. And they know that there is a feast that's being prepared for you at this time. So this is like the Jezebel type of energy. Okay, this is friends, family members, and lovers. They're being rejected. They're being left out in the cold because they cause you a great deal of stillmade energy, heartbreak, pain, and suffering in these relationships that have not been reciprocal. And now the four of wands here, you're healing. You're moving forward, and even though it seems at times like you're not really receiving the return on your investment with the Seven of Pentacles here, you still are, are forging ahead towards victory and success, towards your justice here. 
Yeah, and this is going to bring a lot of accelerated motion. And people that see this, they're watching. They're watching the globe. They're watching you be very self-sufficient, abundant, self-reliant. You don't depend on anyone. And, and on top of that, you're extremely enlightened. See, just because you're does it, just because you're not posting, it doesn't mean it's not happening. Just because you know you're standing still, it doesn't mean that you don't know where you're going. The hangman energy is this is at any time. You can take a time out to rest to retreat. And go through some type of awakening where you gain a lot of insight and awareness about a situation. And you're doing this. You're taking time out. Mercury retrograde, for instance. You take time out to reflect. And then you go out and you celebrate. Because you gain a lot of power by actually tapping into a lot of your own hidden and sacred knowledge and wisdom. That requires you sometimes to take time out. So it's not always that it's a delay. And now people, it's like... They're out to get you, but see, it doesn't matter because with the tower card being here and the judgment, there is an awakening here and there's the death card. There's a major shift here, a life transformation that's happening. You're getting the piece to a puzzle here. And for the people who have been in the background who have tried to lie to you or manipulate you or whatever, now the truth about them is coming in very quickly because you find the truth out about yourself with this major awakening this death energy this transformation heavy scorpio energy here as well this is all scorpio if i'm not mistaken didn't we just have um there was just a full moon in scorpio um actually in may the first week of may there was a full moon in scorpio so a lot of that energy is still here of, of death rebirth transformation letting go and this is like for you you're fighting in the spirit and you're like i have to get towards this new beginning as this empress by any means necessary also to just keep in mind that just as in life sometimes it seems like there's a lot of chaos and conflict around you it's because a lot of people are also going through their transformations and everyone has to kind of give one another grace and mercy because when you are going up against a lot of when you're surrounded by people who are all going through a transformative time and a rebirth and they're experiencing endings and, and new beginnings it can be a lot so a lot of people will kind of lash out or act out of character or whatever but all of those things are necessary for you to get to a point of you seeing exactly who your soul family your soul tribe who those people truly are who can you celebrate with who do you need to avoid you know um that full moon in Scorpio, it, it came in and it did a lot. This is um, that eclipse energy. You know, it, it was an eclipse. So there's things here that are being, per that have been permanently removed from your life. And it's not just like, oh, it's all so sudden. This is a gradual process of you seeing a lot of things that are just ending so that new things can be ushered in. And what I see is that there's a lot coming in when it comes to love and abundance. Yeah, look at that. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords are here together. Three of Pentacles. Beautiful, beautiful collaborations with people where you and these individuals, you can work together. There's truth. There's clarity. There's honesty. Um, you know exactly where you're going and what you're doing. You These are the offers that are being made to you now. Okay. But it's like there are certain situations that caused you illusions that you had to quickly make your way out of you have to quickly see where you are being emotionally or spiritually manipulated. Some people I just heard of spiritually hijacked. People have been trying to spiritually hijack you to make you think that you know you don't actually need to take action to go towards these beautiful, healthy partnerships that you don't need to actually walk away, perhaps even from your family. A lot of you are now kind of like on a frequency where you're embodying like the energy, obviously, of like a an actual earth angel or like Archangel Michael is working very closely with you to ensure that you're not stuck in any type of mental entrapment or illusions about the things that are happening around you with this um, eight of cups and the ten of cups being here. This is you perhaps even walking away from friends, family um, jobs or various situations to go after what is your happily ever after. And again, it can be very difficult because I've experienced it myself recently, walking completely away from the family. I just said this to uh, a family member of mine. 
at some point you have to leave the nest to go out in the jungle and build your own village. You can't sit in the nest anymore. I have to go out and create my own village. So you can't be afraid to leave the job, the relationship, the friendship, the family members, if the mindsets are not in alignment with you, your higher self, and your purpose, then you, you're being forced to leave it behind. That's why all of this death energy is here. Death, the tower, and the judgment. This is a wake-up call. This is like God coming in saying, hey, do you really want to do this this lifetime? Do you really want to do what I've called you to do here? Or do you really want to balance things out? Do you really want this karmic justice? Because if you want it, there's something here that, guess what? It has to be sacrificed. There's, there's nothing here that you can fear letting go of at this point. Not if you want to actually manifest this brand new beginning. A brand new beginning where you are a person where you're not afraid to take action. The King of Wands is someone who's very active, very passionate. Okay, a lot of heavy, heavy Aries energy here. You're not afraid. There's also that divine masculine type of energy. There's something that has been happening for quite some time in the collective with divine masculines. Um, this masculine energy, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, but again, like the Empress is here, the divine masculine, even within a divine feminine energy, a woman, um, perhaps is becoming passionate. You're 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 no longer just as, as especially as the divine feminist. You're not just using your intuition. You're now springing into action. And then the divine masculines, they're not just taking action. Some of them right now are taking time out to rest, to retreat, to reflect, and actually tap more into the divine feminine energy to see, okay, when I make this next step, how exactly can I trust my intuition more before I make the next step? So there's a lot of balance that's happening with the divine feminine and masculine collective as a whole. And I do feel like there's a lot of very beautiful partnerships and connections that are coming in, not just romantic, but also um, even in business. But a lot of people will indeed have, look at this, the devil is here with the five of pentacles and here is the high priest to see there is some type of mindset here of like a lack mentality, a poverty mindset, that hole in the soul that allows the devil to constantly come in to corrupt your thinking and, and therefore um, try to spiritually hijack you. This is what has to be eliminated. And oftentimes that means that you have friends, family members, lovers, and other people. They are of a lower frequency than you and you have to let them go or else you yourself will be in spiritual poverty. So overall, this is really good. It's a very, very nice shift that's happening. Look, coach and gift are here. So it's like you're becoming knowledgeable about some type of gift that you have. Um, you're receiving something. Um, you could be receiving advice. Some of you could be getting into therapy. Or maybe there's something that you should consider. You should consider getting a coach, a therapist, um, a trainer of some sort. It's like, this is your gift. This is your time now to access some type of gift. And if you need help accessing that gift, then don't be afraid to help, to ask for it. And for some, it's just you need to strengthen your relationship with God. I mean, start with, with simply just, you know, praying. Coach still came out even after I shuffled. And it's also the number five. And then you have your origin. This is creating something new. And then you have here initiation. Some of you are being spiritually initiated. You're being called to be, you know, a leader, a, a priest, a high priestess. Um, some of you are being called into being a parent or a bonus parent or whatever it is. You're just being initiated spiritually into doing something that is for, you know, the greatest and highest good. But it requires your higher self to totally spring into action. Yeah, justice. You have to let go of some type of mentality, a thought process. You know, robbery is here. Justice. So you're being vindicated. You're being redeemed. You're being restored. Um, there's a lot of release that's happening here. Some of you are preparing for a family. Um, you're healing things within your family. Perseverance is here. If you've been working for a very long time, finding yourself very stressed out, um, dealing with this, this... <laughs> 
anger, um, resentment, or whatever the case may be due to the fact that you cannot help certain people in your family or, you know, you can't start a family or you don't have a family or whatever the case is. Perseverance is here with justice. It's like, and the robbery card is here. Something here has been unfair. It has been unjust to, to you in some way. Um, but justice is here. This was a part of your initiation for you to learn how to be um, the star player, the main attraction, the coach in your own life, for you to turn a lot of these trials into triumph. You know, you had to go through losing something. Sometimes, you know, you have to lose the win. You had to lose something in order to gain what God actually has for you. Yeah, there's a trap here. Somebody tried to trap you. Somebody didn't want you to see something here. And then death card, saving and death. Wow, schedule. Some of you, you know, I, I really don't even want to dig into this too much because I don't want the, the reading to go left. But um, somebody has tried to hide something from you that for some of you, someone has literally tried to hide something that is related to a death. For some of you, someone has tried to get you stuck in some type of situation that was very awkward or someone is in a very awkward situation that will not grow, it will not prosper or progress, and they've tried to create some type of illusion on you. I feel strongly that for some of you, especially who are dealing with, you know, past lovers, perhaps, you've had someone who has tried to trap you in this illusion that you're meant to be with them or you can't have anything better. It's definitely giving me like a person who's trying to save you for later and to save you for later. They've tried to create a lot of different illusions to do this. This was like, um, I'm hearing organized crime too. So someone here could have gone through great lengths to try to have you stuck. Okay. But someone here, what they wanted for you is what they're going to find themselves stuck in. It's like the grave that they dug for you. They're going to fall in it themselves. You know, if someone here has wished for you to be confined in any way by trying to spiritually bully you or to trap you in any type of illusion, then this is exactly what's going to happen to them because justice is here. Someone tried to for sure steal something from you that was going to bring you a lot of happiness and fulfillment. Um, but you were able to still persevere and make it out of this situation, you were able to move past these obstacles and challenges. And what it did is it spiritually initiated you. It helped it helped your spiritual ranking to go through the roof. I feel it's like you may be a very introverted person and you had someone here who honestly thought perhaps that they were going to trick you or trap you and they were not successful. But the spiritual warfare has been <laughs> at an all-time high. It, yeah withdrawal here and commitment see calmness here you, you were able to kill someone with with kindness you know you spoke a million words by being silent and what has happened now is whatever type of contract someone tried to bind you to you now have gone through some type of awakening you perhaps have healed a wound within yourself that allowed you to trauma bond with people because of rejection or abandonment you will draw yourself from this this is a mindset that you know, you no longer resonate with and therefore this binding contract that someone has tried to put you in um, and, and I'm hearing they try to do this multiple times it, it, it only calls you to spiritually rank up and, and now you're severing all ties with something with a group, a person, a place, a thing or whatever the situation may be you're done with something and I'm hearing obstruction of justice. So somebody definitely has done something in the background that it was really unfair, unjust. Like I said, I'm 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 hearing organized crime and with the death card here blind and everything else. Somebody here has tried to cover up something. And for some of you, this may not resonate, but for some who have really dealt with some some major challenges, you could even have people in your family who have done a lot to try to cover up something that they've done either to try to hurt you or something that has been done to hurt someone else. And the fact that you chose not to go along with whatever this was, that they weren't able to mentally or emotionally, you know, manipulate you. 
many of you had people who decided to go against you and, and that was the wrong thing to do because the way God had this whole entire thing set up was it was to literally put you out there as like karmic bait for a lot of people. Um, you were you were like a you know it's it's like a diamond in the rough like you was you was always hidden in plain sight and a lot of people they went against you they they tried to spiritually battle you and challenge you and it, it just wasn't the right thing to do because you have been able I'm assuming to still remain very calm and at peace you have an alliance with a very faithful loving caring kind angel a guide an ancestor and now you have good luck that's coming towards you you have your good luck relaxation good news and look at that sweetheart and for some of you yes you will be expecting a huge blessing whether it be a child a new business you have luck here you're lucky but you know you're also very blessed there is a lot of favor upon you and here you have gain somebody here was in the background though pretending that they had a gift and they never had a gift okay they never had a gift someone here has been pretending that they have a gift or that they were somehow going to offer you some type of stability or security and they did they never had that to offer you to begin with the gift was always within you and you're going to be the recipient of whatever type of reward or re recognition this is some of you are definitely going to good news here though about like um something is surprising it could be a child some of you could be um wow this card is 42 some of you could be in your 40s for and it's 42 minutes on the clock Something could be um, specific about the age of 42. Um, you could be having a child, you know, or starting a business, but someone here definitely put in a lot of work and you're being blessed with something that you really, really wanted that someone tried to take away from you. It's very unfortunate, but with this gift and this mask card here, someone thought that they were doing a very good job, I guess, of, and here's the bottom of the deck, the third wheel, by causing all this interference in your life by shape-shifting, wearing all these different masks, putting on this facade. But see, you've already made a vow to God to serve a certain purpose and to live a certain life. So this, it never worked, but it doesn't change the fact that someone, they put in a lot of work to try and work against you by wearing all of these different masks, telling different lies, the assassination of character, the defamation of character. You know, some of these people are, have gone so far as to lie to um, law officials and, and other things to try and trap you, to confuse you, and to create all of these different illusions and none of it work. What's happened now is these people are going, like I said, with um, towards being in Jupiter now, it's like there is an expansion of all of this greatness in your life. But the darkness that is in your enemies, like that's going to grow and expand as well. They, there's no way they can get out of it. So, but I just want to pull a few of these oracle cards as far as what's happening in love. And then I'm just going to go ahead and close out the reading. It's been so nice having, um, being here to do a reading. I haven't done a reading in a month. <laughs> So please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hopefully our tribe continues to grow. I haven't been here in a while, so. <laughs> um, someone here is in um, contemplation mode. There's a lot of heavy thinking. Somebody may be thinking about how much they want to tell you that they love you, or I just feel like Cupid has sort of struck somebody. Um, you could have love in your life or coming into your life. And the whole thing is, as you remove, as you get these karmic energies, these demonic people out of your life it makes space for true love look at this beautiful divine feminine i love you somebody loves you divine feminine or divine feminine you need to know that it's safe for you to allow love into your life you just need us to do a lot of cleanup work get certain people away from you yeah, a third party so for some this third party here this could be a friend family member a lover someone here who has been purposely it's like they're so a part of their soul contract is to cause chaos and confusion in your life. This is a Jezebel energy, the Mercury retrograde here. So for Mercury retrograde, a lot of people you've experienced a lot of interference when it comes to your um your divine contracts. This was all a part of the plan, though. It was a part of the plan. Um these people were contracted to trying to assassinate your character and to ruin your partnerships and your relationships. But see, 
it was up to you to be discerning enough to have this clarity where you could actually see the truth. You had to recognize that, no, this isn't real. You know, it's it's a battle of the high priestess and the devil. You have to see the high priestess is your intuition. So the devil wants to play on your intuition and make you think that everything that you know is false. So that you will operate out of fear. But the truth is, is that, no, you do have new love here. There is someone new coming into your life. There is something beautiful that's happening for you. Mercury retrograde was, was here right now with this eclipse season for you to go back. And it was, it was God's way, the universe's way of testing to see, are you going to fall into that cycle of going backwards? And then even in moving forward, are you going to allow fear to rule you, control you, and dominate your life? Because in the past, things didn't work out. A lot of you right now are facing situations where, or you will in the future, there's going to be an energy that's going to come in and it's going to seem so much like the past, but it's not. The reason why it's going to seem so similar to you is for some of you, you're dealing with tricks or spirits. But for some, it is to see the power of your love and your forgiveness. Just because it didn't work out with that last person doesn't mean that this won't work out. You cannot sit there and try to judge every book by its cover or assume that every situation is going to be bad. And that is the conditioning here. This is the stuff that even friends, family members, and past lovers will do. They will constantly try to convince you that you will never have better. It, it's, it's a very um, simple and easy way to trick you. And for some of you, because of the calling on your life, people have had to go through great greater lengths. This is where, you know, the, the rituals and the black magic and the criminal activity, all of those, it's, people are wanting to break you down because mentally and spiritually, they, they've they had no success at stopping you from believing that, oh yeah, you will actually be receiving communication from someone who wants to be loyal to you. Someone is very much attracted to you and wants to be with you. Unfortunately, because of all of this spiritual warfare and the attacks perhaps someone has been holding back from you or you felt the need to hold back from someone but no there's a very loyal committed faithful partnership with someone here that's entering your life you just have to get rid of this this jezebel in your life and this jezebel spirit can like i said it can be housed by any person in your life jezebel is there to cause chaos conflict confusion misfortune illusions jealousy, competition. You know what I'm saying? This is someone here though who has not had success in the areas of your life where you are guaranteed to have a success. So you will notice Mercury Retrograde has come in to show you and reveal to you who those hidden enemies have been. You will be able to look in your life and see, wow, every single time you get a phone call or you're expecting a phone call about good news or every time you have a new relationship, every time you're up for a new job, there is a snake in your camp. There is somebody here who is loyal. They're contracted in this lifetime to bring you down and to have you left out in the cold so that you cannot actually tap into your higher self. Once you eliminate that person, that energy, that's where all of this goodness can open up to you. So some of you need to just really pay attention to the rhythms, the cycles, the patterns in your life. Who who exactly is always gatekeeping in your life? Mercury Retrograde definitely revealed the, the person to me in my life that I, I've held so closely to me. But I'm just like, this person is, is a gatekeeper. This person does not allow me the freedom to fully evolve. But then I have to say, well, I'm not allowing myself to fully evolve because... I'm not kicking this devil out of my life. You, you, you can't be an extremely intuitive person, a highly sensitive empath, and you're dealing with the devil. Everything about that devil is going to get on your nerves. It's going to constantly irritate you. And your light is going to irritate and aggravate the demons and these people around you. You're... We, we can't help the fact that good will always be here with bad, but you don't have to go out and hang out with certain people. Give people grace and mercy and send them on their way. If people are still in this lack mentality, they're struck with this poverty mindset, 
they can't seem to get out of their own struggles and burdens, you have to move forward. You're the empress, whether male or female, or you're the emperor, divine, masculine. You have a passionate new beginning that's waiting on you. You have to turn your back on these different things. Like I said, leave the nest and go out and create your own village. The world is waiting on you to show up. These people will forever cause blockages and delays in your life. And it's like somebody out there is waiting to meet you. They're waiting to take things to the next level with you. They're excited about being with you. Whether this is someone who wants to do business with you or whatever, there's an energy here that you absolutely have to let go of. And for some of you, you have people around you. They're very dark. These are these calls of witches, wizards, and warlocks that are around you. They're pretending that they don't know anything about spirituality. They don't have any idea of what they're doing. But these people... You think that they're praying for you and they're actually praying on your downfall. They're praying on you. But it's a part of their contract. Every person that's in your life is not here to, to help you. They, actually, they are here to help you by hurting you. Because what breaks your heart, it gives you an opportunity to, to heal and to improve your own vision and have more clarity. You have your conflict. A lot of people, I'm telling you, you have to put an end to people that you have conflict with. And we always focus on lovers. It's not just the lovers. It's your friends and, and, and for sure your family. If you have family members that you're constantly fighting and disagreeing with and, and it's always this confusion and conflict, that stops you from being able to manifest because you don't have the clear headspace to do it. These sometimes, these are people who are karmic. They come into this lifetime from a past lifetime with a hatred towards you. And you will notice that every single time they are around you, you will find yourself left out in the cold. You will find yourself in regret, falling into a cycle of self-sabotage. That's when you have to finally power up and say no. You have to sacrifice that person and leave them out in the cold or else you're going to constantly face a lot of regrets. Yeah, dark night of the soul. This is facing fears, facing your old wounds. I can resonate with this myself, honestly, because that's exactly what I've, I've noticed. And I think that the entire collective will notice that during Mercury Retrograde, just anytime, you will find yourself triggered by things. And in some people, Mercury Retrograde, every single time, those past energies will come back. And you're fighting against not just the people in your life, but these people, they are representative of entities and principalities that you're battling as well. So you could have an issue with codependency. You could have an issue with procrastination. It could be anything. You're going to always see that there will be people in your life that will come around and they embody that, that spirit, that demonic spirit that's causing a stronghold in your life that you need to release. And sometimes you carry a spirit because everyone has a shadow and other people, they can't be around it. And we need to learn to accept certain people. You just can't be around them, especially in certain seasons of your life. And that's okay. Union coming together. Wow. And it says here, it is safe for you to love. See? And here we have leaving. Leaving behind what does not serve you. Some of you, you need to raise your vibration. You definitely need to manifest friends who you can trust. Friends who are like-minded. You need to leave this negative energy behind. These people who, like I said, the chaos, the conflict, the jealousy, the envy, the hidden enemies or whatever, leave that behind because it's time for you to manifest like-minded um, relationships within your friendships. But it's like your finances want to improve. You have a union coming in. It's time for you to have intimacy. And yes, people are very jealous. I, it's the cards, not me saying this. People are very jealous of the fact that you have this fertility. The fact that you are in this divine empress-like energy. The fact that you and another person, you have um, this telepathic communication and there's unconditional love here. Some, someone is very, and it's the Jezebel energy, that's extremely jealous of the fact that, yes, you, you're meant to 
<laughs> to have blessings. You're meant to carry a child. You're meant to have a business. You're meant to have a beautiful, beautiful union and a connection. You're, that's what you're destined for. That's a part of your contract. But you have people, like I said, they're contracted to block you. I feel like every person who is assigned, especially for a high level um, connection or union, you will absolutely have to battle up against the Jezebel spirit. And you will find yourself recognizing the Jezebel spirit, that, that Judas energy, those hidden enemies, frenemies, hidden, you know, even family members. And, and what's so dangerous is oftentimes these people, they don't recognize that that's how they are. The people that you're like, you're, they're so jealous. They're so envious and hateful. They honestly, they think that they are full of love, full of love and light. But that's where you have to see your level of consciousness and awareness and theirs is not on the same frequency. You, you won't convince these people that how they're acting is wrong. You will never convince them of that. Look, judging your spiritual and religious choices, someone is doing black magic on you and look, look, envious of your pregnancy. You just saw the cards. Literally, you saw jealousy came out with fertility. Somebody is very, very jealous and envious of you having a child or you birthing something new. A new relationship or someone is envious of, the, of your children. This also could be a parental finger that's envious of their child. And, and doing black magic and a lot of people, again, when you become spiritual and you become very enlightened and aware, friends, family, parents included, they will begin to do black magic on you because they are envious of what you are creating. People don't like to talk about that, but, but it's a thing. Smoky quartz could help. You're into crystals. Look at this intimacy issues. UTI infertility, man. Somebody has really been doing some like moon magic out here because someone knows that you're coming into this connection here. You have the Empress card with the Ace of Wands and the Sun out here together. So for some of you, you're taking action. And look at your Mercury retrograde. Somebody here has a, a, a contract during Mercury retrograde. This is like an entity that was sent in to cause you to be paranoid and to live in fear so that you will have a lot of issues, obstacles, challenges, and delays because someone hates the fact that you're gifted, you're talented. You know, you're going towards taking action to having so much happiness. You're And, and for some people that don't resonate with going towards like having a child, whatever it is that you're birthing, it could also just be you, um, how can I say this? Like, you completely healing your own inner child. Okay? The person causing you negativity is a fire sign. Someone here is stalking your social media. Misery loves company. They would love for you to miss or lose an opportunity. This is someone here who is very miserable. And they want you to feel miserable as well. It says recharge your energy. Distance yourself, take a break, a vacation, pamper, do the things that make you happy. The person causing you negativity could be an air sign. Someone is jealous um, of the attention that you receive from others. Secretly hating on your romantic relationship. You need to perform a cord cutting ritual because this person is, um, somebody here could be using a voodoo doll. They're trying to cause cycles of bad luck. They want you to have a lot of body pain. They could be spreading rumors about you. I mean, it's just a lot. This is just a lot of people sending you the evil eye. But um, I said before, almost 30 minutes ago, I wasn't even going to get into that. But it's here. You know, but again, the best thing to do is to focus on the fact that obviously you have so much greatness within you that that's the only reason why the devil is watching you and why these different demonic entities and so forth, well, all these different things are coming up against you. It's because of all of the greatness that is within you.